I figured this would be an easier way to do like an update just because I kind of feel like it's like a waste of time to like sit, do my makeup, and then sit and talk after, you know? So I feel like this uh, saves us some time. But anyways, I'm not gonna be talking too much about like what I'm using. I will put everything down below. So you guys, if you guys wanna know specific things, I might talk about certain things here and there, but it's not like an in-depth video. So, I am 24 weeks, my 24 weeks? I am 24 weeks and two days. So, I know sometimes people get um, confused by the weeks, but there's like 40 weeks in a pregnancy. Um, and some people go over the 40 weeks. I've never gone to 40 weeks. I had my firstborn at 39 weeks exactly, and then I had my second daughter at 38 weeks in a day. Yeah, and they were perfectly like fine and healthy, no problem. Like my water broke for both of them, so nothing dramatic or emergency or anything like that. This time around, I'm due November 2nd. I don't know if I said that in any of my past videos, but my official due date is November 2nd. But like I said, since I, my doctor said that's like a good indicator, my last pregnancies are a good indicator of how this one will go. I will probably deliver mid-October. I'm gonna be focusing more on just how I'm feeling now and how my second trimester has gone because I think in like two or three weeks, I'll be in my third, third trimester, right? I think third trimester's 27 weeks or something like that. I truthfully have great pregnancies. Like I don't throw up my whole pregnancy. I don't have nausea my whole pregnancies. I've never really struggled with like a lot of weight gain. I never had like preeclampsia, nothing. Like I've always had, thankfully, really, really smooth pregnancies. So this time around, it's very similar to that, but I do get a lot of like ligament pain. So like basically like your your groin area, like right around your uterus, you know, obviously it starts expanding throughout your pregnancy to give the baby room and all of that. So that's been happening and I, it's like really hard to walk. Like if I'm sitting down for a long period of time, I'll, it'll be, I'll be really sore and I'll have to like walk really slow until like it kind of like stretches out and then I'll be okay. So that can also happen when I'm like cleaning and like bending up and down, up and down, and then my lower back will start to uh, irritate me. And then on top of that, I have always had, for a long time before I was even pregnant, I had a like sciatic nerve pain, which sucks. I blame Victoria's Secret because <laughs> when I, that's when I, I got it, when I was working there. And I think it was from like bending and standing and bending and standing from uh, putting all the things in the drawers and stuff. That was my first retail job, so, but I don't know. So I've had that ever since then, so that gets irritated. So I, what I have to do is stretch. Like I have to stretch every day because I will get super stiffened up and then when I'm, when I sleep and then I wake up in the morning, I'm like, I have to like be really careful with my steps at first to make sure I'm good and then, you know, I can walk. Um, the other day we went to the mall and then we went to Target and we still had to go to Costco. And by the time we were like in Target, I was getting like hot, like hot flashes. Like I feel like what hot flashes would feel like. I know it's hot. I mean, I live in Arizona. It's extremely hot during the summer, but I mean, we were inside of Target. Like it's not like we were, you know, doing too much. And I was like getting really hot. I was getting really like irritated. And by the time we we're gonna go to Costco, I asked Ramses if you, <laughs> could just go by himself in Costco and I was just done like for that particular day my lower back was just uh hurting like aching he was cool with it like he went in and got all the stuff we needed and I'm not a big like Tylenol Advil person uh, I don't like to take things for pain I'd rather just take it easy and you know whatever but obviously there's times where I'll take Tylenol my doctor said that it's it's okay or whatever so I've been doing that every so often, especially going to bed. So I feel like when I sleep, you know, you sleep on your side, you turn over and all that. And sometimes it puts pressure on one side more than the other side. So then when I wake up in the morning, I'm like 
you know, in bad shape. <laughs> so, like, as soon as I wake up, but then I'm fine, like, after I, I'm up and I move around. So it just depends on what I'm doing and, like, if my ligaments are, like, even stretching that day. Because some days I'll be good, I'll have a really good day, and then some days I won't. The baby's been kicking a lot. Uh, Ramses was asking me, he's like, who kicked more, like, the girls or... Or the baby and I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I feel like this baby's gonna be wild. Like she, she just like kicks me all the time. But it's been like four and five years since the last time I was pregnant with, with the other ones. So my cravings have definitely um, shifted, you know, like they're not as intense like i feel like i was craving food all the time like I, and i was hungry all the time and now i feel a lot better i'm just like normal like obviously i get cravings here and there but i'm like a normal a normal hungry pregnant woman i feel like i used to crave a lot more snacks like i think that's what i was craving at first i was craving just chips and certain like granola bars and just like different things i was craving candy and now i'm not i'll just crave grape i'll just crave certain meals but i won't really crave uh like all the snacks that i was in the beginning so that's good and helpful for me because i was uh also like i have a video up of um talking about when i went to the doctor and i kind of like had gained weight um and my doctor was kind of like oh you know you just want to be careful whatever just because i'm so small I'm, like i'm five feet tall and i was already um the weight i was when i gave birth like to the girls when i started my second tri trimester so that freaked me out and right now I am the same weight that I was so I haven't necessarily like gained uh, more weight hopefully it doesn't get out of hand I'm trying to work out again but like I said even with my ligament pain it's pretty hard um, to do a lot of like workouts I have to just do kind of light stuff because even my doctor you know said that you can't for ligament pain you can't really do much you just have to take it easy uh, take Tylenol for the inflammation um, stuff like that <sighs> that kind of sucks it's a little debilitating and frustrating and I also get it really early on like I don't even get it it's not like I just started getting it I got it maybe like the beginning of my second trimester and the baby wasn't even half a pound or maybe it was like half a pound at that point so it has nothing to do with like how heavy your baby is or anything like that it's just like my doctor kind of explained it's like muscle memory your body especially with the second third baby um your body already knows like what's going on so it'll start preparing earlier than like the first time yeah just have to be really patient do what you can what does help me is stretching i've been trying to be really diligent and stretch at least once a day at least in the morning when i wake up or at night before i go to bed and we have been cleaning well i've been cleaning i've been obsessed like i'm already obsessed with like organizing and cleaning everything up so you can just imagine when i'm pregnant and in like that nesting stage i'm driving ramses crazy which is a big reason why we had to like kind of reorganize this uh, office we're trying to make room for the baby especially in closets and stuff um just because we had all our closets occupied the closet next door we have a four bedroom house so like the two the master and the room over there are the girls and then we have this room and the room next door the room next door is kind of like a spare like playroom area i just had a lot of stuff of the kids that it was either just extra toys or toys that were like they outgrew but they were still in good condition that i kept just a few things i had a lot of clothes in that closet so what we're planning to do is i think we're going to do the same thing that we did last time with sissy is we buy this like 70 dollar ikea crib and we basically tether it to our bed so the crib is like right next to us and i breastfeed so they just i just wake up and roll over and breastfeed the baby and then the baby will go back to sleep so yeah i think that's what we're gonna end up doing we finally got the girls out of our bed they have been in their own beds as in they would fall asleep in their beds every night and then mid through the night midway through the night without fail both of them would end up in our bed we have been trying to uh, get them for a while now and it finally happened and they're finally i think it's been like five nights now so i think we're we're in the clear so yeah so we're not really planning to like buy a bunch of furniture decorate a whole room for the baby anything like that i think eventually we've been talking about it um about like what we're gonna do and the girls our girls right now share a room and i don't really see that 
changing anytime soon. They both really like sharing a room. They're still kind of small, so I don't think um, they'll want to split up for a while. So what I think is going to happen is like, you know, once I have the baby and then a year goes by and I wean the baby from breastfeeding, I think we'll probably end up buying a bunk bed for the girls and then one of the beds that of theirs that they have now will end up leaving um, in there and then all three of them will probably end up sleeping together in the same room unless Jet ends up wanting her own room before then which I doubt she like loves being with her sister I doubt she'll want that so that's what I kind of see in the future that they'll want to just like we'll have to figure out a way for them to all sleep together my best friend has four kids she has a huge house she has enough rooms for all of them and they all still end up in the same well not all of them but her three boys still end up together and her daughter will crawl into bed with her so we're gonna chill on the whole decorating one whole room and separating them for now just because i'm just gonna wait until they're ready and they want to do that they're four and five so or almost four and five so I, maybe in a year we'll uh, decide on that. But for now, the closet next door is nice and empty-ish for the baby, uh, for the baby's clothes and stuff like that. And then I have the dresser that's in there. Um, I will also uh, use for the baby's clothes and diapers. I'm also planning on cloth diapering. I'm honestly really hyped for it. And I know it sounds weird, but I've been doing like tons of research and I think it's just for the best. Rams is on board with it. I know a lot of you guys are gonna think I'm crazy but I'm excited. <laughs> so I'll need storage like for those. So I think we're we're good as far as uh, furniture you know whatever except for the little crib. We still have a while to go. If you guys aren't familiar with like week stuff um, I'm, I guess I'm technically like six months pregnant. August, September, October yeah so roughly like two and a half two and a half months so we're we still have a while. Also, if you haven't been pregnant, or if you have, you know that the first like seven months, seven and a half months fly by, and then the last like month, month and a half feel like the whole seven months like put together. Time slows down so much. So that's why I'm just like not trying to get ahead of myself. I have been experiencing a little bit of swelling in my feet if I'm not keeping up with my water. Also, if I'm on my feet a lot, walking, also with the heat, that doesn't help. It's nothing bad, just something I've noticed. Uh, when I take like a shoe off or like when I take my sandals off or something like I have some imprint or my ankle bone is a little bit like flat against my leg stuff like that but nothing to where I was concerned or concerned my doctor or anything like that the girls are very excited like they just can't wait they keep talking about their baby sister they give her a kiss on my belly every night they talk to her all the time like they're super super happy so i can't wait for her to be here and for the girls to see her they're just gonna, gonna be little besties little three little musketeers as far as my cravings go like i said earlier i'm i'm good like i don't even feel like i crave a lot i do feel though not that i crave stuff but i do feel like i eat more like than I used to. I used to usually leave <laughs> leave food on my plate and Ramses would finish my food, but I noticed that I'm like finishing my whole plate, like everything. Like if I get like a sandwich or some kind of, especially when I like order tacos or order something, like I eat more than I usually would, or I don't get full as fast as I used to. So I do notice that, like it's nothing crazy. I don't have like crazy cravings or anything like that, but I am eating more than I was. So my water intake is a lot better now that I'm not nauseous all the time. I'm at least drinking two hydros a day, so like 80 ounces of water at least a day. I drink water like as soon as I get up in the morning, like at least a full glass of water. Uh, I drink water throughout the night too. I keep my hydro like upstairs next to my bed. But yeah, I made a uh, registry on Amazon. I've never done that before, like make a baby registry online. I feel like it's my third baby, so it's like, damn, do I need stuff? The only things that I have that I didn't sell or give away from the girls are clothes. Like I have like a huge bin full of like newborn to like six month clothes that's really good and i went through it the other day and there's like a lot of good stuff in there 
and then like I said I cleaned out the closet next door in the other room and I kept another bin full of clothes that is more like for one year olds to like 2T some 3T stuff so the baby doesn't really need clothes I have a playpen I have like a little walker toy pretty much it I have a noise machine still like the one that I've had since Jet was a baby and they still use it in their room every night and just like I just put rain what else do I have so I don't like really have anything <laughs> so like I said I'm gonna be cloth diapering this time around so I put uh, cloth diapers on there I put like a bumbo I'm gonna need like a new swing but it's funny because like when you're pregnant like that when you get pregnant for like the first time you feel like you need everything like you feel like you need a high chair and you need a freaking walker and you need everything when the baby's not gonna sit in a high chair till she's like five months six months old so she's like sitting up um you can't use a bumbo so they're like holding up their head you know you can't like a lot of those things like can't even use right away but like you stress about like needing it right away i mean i, I definitely did and then when I had Sissy, I had everything already. So like I didn't really stress that much. And then this time around, I have nothing. But I'm just like, I don't really need much. <laughs> I feel like it's just more like you're more realistic. Like you're like, okay, I don't need a whole nursery. I don't need like all this stuff. Like we stressed and spent money and did all those things like before Jet was born. And it was just kind of like, I wouldn't say a waste, but I mean... It was a waste a little bit just because we didn't use her crib we didn't like use a lot of things and if we did we didn't use it for like months and months and months after she was already born so now thinking back you kind of just learn you know that you have time and you don't need everything all at once uh we are gonna need like a car seat and a new stroller obviously so i already picked that that's on my registry i put some bottles on my registry i want to be better about this baby and giving this baby bottles because my kids did not take bottles so this time around hopefully i i I told Ramses I think like at night uh, like before bed or maybe in the morning before he goes to work I want him to give him to give her a bottle like every day like once a day and I found some really good I did a lot of research found some really good um, bottles that are recommended for breastfeeding babies I need a pump I don't have a pump I, uh, I think I sold it or I gave it away or I sold it Ramses says he's surprised I haven't given him away yet because I just give everything away. That's just me, like, I just hate having things, especially, like, if it's been, like, a year and I haven't used it, like, it's been, it's like, okay, it's ridiculous, like, this is just taking up space, just hate clutter, I'm just more, I don't know, I'm just more, like, minimalistic, like, I like things to have, like, a purpose. Okay, I'm gonna do my hair really quick, and then I'll be back to kind of wrap up. Um, we do have a name picked out, but... <sighs> I just don't want to jinx it just because we've done this with both kids that we pick out a name we're so certain about the name like early on and then when we have the baby we end up changing it so I'm gonna wait a little longer before I like start actually saying <laughs> what we want to name her so it says the baby is about the size of an ear of corn I kind of low-key like the baby center one better it gives a little bit more information than the ovia one but I have both the baby has gained about four ounces since last week so that puts the baby at about one pound, one third. Since she's almost a foot long, she cuts a pretty lean figure at this point, but is bought, her body is filling out proportionally and she'll soon start to plump up. So now basically like the baby's just kind of gaining weight. Uh, all of the uh, organs are pretty well developed. Very exciting. Like I said, the only things that I'm experiencing is like the ligament pain, my sciatic nerve. Like now I'm getting like hot hot flashes I guess. Ramses is just telling me that it's like the hormones I guess causing me to get hot flashes and then the little bit of swelling so nothing too too drastic. So this is what I've literally been doing lately just kind of lining the outside the bottom. This is a this is natural lip pencil by NYX and I personally love my um Jaclyn lipsticks. I know that's like cuss word right now they last a really long time they're really comfortable and they feel good mine nothing was wrong with mine but i did get a refund <laughs> so i got these lipsticks for free because of all the controversy yeah i don't know how i feel about this hair i don't know if it's too curly or what but the one thing i like about it is once I, when i curl it like this i can like sleep on it and like the next day it's a little bit flatter but it still looks cute so i always like tuck it behind my ear too Oh, and if you watched my vlog where I talked about when I went and got my hair done and it just didn't turn out how 
I expected it. I went to one of my friends, Lisette. She works at uh, the JCPenney salon here in town and she pretty much just fixed it for me. I kind of want to go back and have her um, do my blonde a little higher, but I'm giving my my hair a little break for now. We're in a big shirt, obviously, but pretty round. Some days I'm a little more round than other days. That's how I was feeling like back like a few weeks ago, but now I'm definitely just round all the time. But I'm definitely buy I need to buy like some leggings, so I ordered some, so they should be coming soon because my Lulus are hurting right now, so getting the most out of them anyways but yeah that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoy it and if you guys are around the same time along that i am in pregnancy leave a comment down below and let me know how you're doing and i'll probably do i have my glucose test in about three weeks so I'll probably do like another update after that but yeah again hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye